every thought we think and every word we speak is creating our future. So we have to be careful about what we say and think and, and resentment and you know going all grunging as I call it, going over and over and over those past difficulties. They don't do anything but attract more difficulties to you because I see life as a boomerang. Like what do you give out comes back to you and this happens over and over and over again. With a boomerang, whenever you toss it out, it comes back. And if you toss it again, it will come back. So it's the same thing with our thinking and our speaking. It's very important to be appreciative of life and to express gratitude. The universe loves gratitude. And the more grateful you are, the more things you have to be grateful about. And when I say things, I don't mean objects necessarily, but just you improve the quality of your life enormously. I mean, what you're saying is a quality of life doesn't mean a really nice house or a really nice it car. It can, but it doesn't have to. But what good is a nice car if you are full of resentment all the time and you drive around hating everybody? That's not going to help anything. It's much better if you had an old car and you were grateful and, and appreciative of life. And I also think it's extremely important that you love and appreciate who you are. Too many of us have grown up believing that we're really not good enough or we're not worthy or we're not, we don't deserve. And, you know, we are divine, magnificent expressions of life and we have to know that and, and experience it and rejoice in it. One of the things I tell people to do a lot is to go to the mirror, especially first thing in the morning before you brush your teeth or anything, and look in the mirror and just say, I love you. I really, really love you. And start connecting with that inner child that's inside. A little kid who's probably been pushed away for a long time. And when you do that, it's amazing how miracles seem to happen. If you could stress one thing, one concept or one belief, what would be, and it's probably tough to sum it all up, but what would you... What would you say is the absolute most important thing? Well, I think love who you are and be very grateful for life and very appreciative. Say thank you a lot. I say thank you many, many, many times of the day, often not to anyone else. I just, you know, oh, thank you. That's so wonderful. Thank you. And it's, uh, you know, you find more and more things to be thankful about. We were, I was driving up today from uh, San Diego and the, the wildflowers on the hillsides are just beautiful this year. And I was thinking, I was so glad that I had the opportunity to see them. Because if I stayed down there, I wouldn't have. But this drive, which was you know, not a drive I particularly wanted to make, but it was gorgeous. Now, I'll tell you something that I love people to get if they can. When we have a problem, most of us go, oh, panic, panic, God, what are we going to do, blah, 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 blah. But I have something that I try to get people to say. When the minute there's a problem, you stop and you go, all is well. All is well. Everything's working out for my highest good. And out of this experience, only good will come. And I am safe. And you do this, if it's a small thing, I say it two or three times. If it's a bigger issue, I babble it incessantly. But all is well. Everything is working out for my highest good. Out of this situation, only good will come, and I am safe. Now this gives, this quiets your inner turmoil down long enough for the universe to find the solution to the so-called problem. See, when there's problems, we don't have to fix problems so much. We need to fix our thinking and our attitude about how we respond to them. And then you get less and less. And when, and when the solution comes, you say thank you. I am not a salesperson. I am a teacher. And I work with people who come to me who want to learn to change their lives. I remember when I first heard that if I was willing to change my thinking, I could change my life. It was like a, a, a revelation happened. And I thought, oh my goodness. And then I, I just spent all my time trying to find out how to do that. Because it sounded so wonderful. And there are other people who will never be interested. Maybe next lifetime. Or the one after that. So where, where do we go from here? <sighs> I don't know. But I will find out. Life will bring it to me.
all is well.